Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today, I'm going to talk about about um, sound setting in Revit. Okay, so um, and actually, what we're going to achieve is um, something like this. So, so this is so. You can see this is the building, and and we can have some um, different time uh, of the year. So equinox, winter, summer, and also we can show these shadows. Okay, so um, okay, so let's 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 do it. So first, uh, I'm going to create a new project. And um, so this let's first set the location of this project. So this is very important because uh, this will affect the or the shadow or the different time. So um, Canberra. So that that's fine. We are going to use this. Okay. So for now, uh, I'm going to just draw some wall. So maybe uh, some wall here. And also we'll add a roof. Okay, so roof and pick wall, finish, attach. Okay, so now we have this. Okay, um, let's go to side plan because on this side plan, the default cut plan is higher, so we can see the roof. Okay, so now in this side plan, I'm going to turn on the sound study so if i if you go here so you will see this little sound sound path it says sound path off so what you can do is if you turn it on you will say so we can just uh, which one use the uh, yeah us or use this one the first one so now you can see this circle so this is the north uh, top of the page south west and the east and also, you will say this. This is the um, the path of the the sun at ju uh, June the first. Okay, so ten o'clock is here. So relative to so if your house is here, so this point, so the sun is on this angle. Okay, so this is um, okay. So this is a is a setting for one for a. a if you go to sound setting, so this is this steel. Okay, so with a, a specific time, so 10 o'clock in the morning at uh, on 1st of June. Okay, so 2010. So this is actually this is good because this is gives us gives us a, a time a specific time. But um, what we need for usually for a a solo study or um, site analysis is uh, we need multiple time. So, so actually you can see here we can we can have single day a single day between a time uh, between a two different time, and also we can have multiple days. But the issue is if we choose, for example, if we choose multiple days and then we choose, um, for example, summer. Okay, so if I click OK, and you will see we have this a range of, you know, um, if you t if you change it to shade, so you will see this color. So this is, um, it's quite nice, but it's probably not good to to explain um, on a site analysis. So what we are going to do is uh, we're going to create multiple of this view. So we can just place them on a shade, okay? So, okay. So first, so this let's go back to the sun setting and change this to. So we're going to pick some time, a uh, different time of the year, okay? So first, I'm going to create some of the this um, in here. So currently spring, so equinox. I'm going to. Uh, 22, 22nd. I'm not sure 22nd or 21st. So maybe we double check of this date. Okay, so 20, I think 21, 21st. 
Anyway, so first I'm going to rename this one. So this is 12 p.m. So I'll call it 12 p.m. And OK, so I'll duplicate this one and then create another one. So I'll call it 9 a.m. OK, so change this to 9 a.m. So then I'll duplicate another one. So it will be 3 p.m. And OK, and change this to 3 p.m. And then we need some uh, another. We need a summer. So I'm going to rename this one summer. I call it summer 4 p.m. So because we we need to avoid summer afternoon sun. <laughs> okay. So um, change this to four. Oops. Sorry. What's that? Um. Okay. Another one will be winter. Okay, I'll rename this one winter maybe 10 a.m. Okay, change this to 10 and a.m. All good. So now click. Uh, okay, so oh, actually, this one will be. Yeah, I think it's all good. So first one for this view, for this view, I'm going to use, for example, summer. Okay, so I'll click OK. So this one will be summer for. So you see, this is a summer path 21st of December and f so this is four o'clock so I'm going to rename this one so I'll I'll rename this to uh, sh shadow maybe shadow diagram okay so share diagram summer four o'clock 4 p.m. okay so now this is Okay, so all down. So you can turn on the shadow if you wanted to. Okay, and then uh, I'll just turn it off for now. So, and right click, duplicate. So we can just duplicate this, rename it. I'll, this time I'll call it Equinox Equ uh, Nine AM AM. And go to Sound Setting and choose this Spring Equal Nine AM. Okay, good. Right click, duplicate, and re right click, rename. 12 p.m. Okay, so go to sound setting and pick this uh, 12 p.m. And okay, right click, duplicate, and rename. Uh, this time will be 3 p.m. Go to sound setting. And choose this 3 p.m. Right click, duplicate, and uh, we need a winter. So rename, I call it winter. Um, winter uh, 10 a.m. Okay, so go to sun setting and pick this uh, winter 10 a.m. Okay, so all down. So now we can. We can go to um, go to shade. Okay, so shade. So we're going to create a new. Uh, maybe I'll just use this. Uh, oops, sorry. Let's just double click this shade. So we're going to place those uh, side plans. So all these onto this shade. So just place it and place another one. So just move your view so you will notice. So this blue dash line so once you see both horizontal and vertical which means that they are aligned okay so just place it okay so here so there will be five shape five different view on uh, this shade okay so now you will see it's all you can see all the different time equinox Winter, summer, okay, and also um, I think at this stage, so now we can uh, maybe we can go to let's go to one of the view. So now we can try to adjust. So if you want to, you can adjust the different setting. So for example, uh, for this view, I'm going to turn on the shadow, and uh, maybe maybe um. You can, you can, I don't know, maybe just, oh, 
power. Uh, nothing happened. <laughs> anyway, maybe maybe not this one. Um, shadow, that's okay. Oh, this one. Yeah, because you don't you you want to like I think it should be better to have a, a um, lighter shadow. So I think that's all good. And then what you can do is because you don't you don't want to you know go change um, each one every time you want to change something. So what you can do is you can create a template for this. So I'm going to just click here, save as a view template, and I'll just call it shadow diagram. Shadow diagram template. And so now we can all check everything except the lighting because we want to have different lighting uh, setting so all the rest should be all good um yeah so just yeah just double check if you need to just check but all this should be fine click ok ok select shift select all these and apply this shadow diagram template apply okay so now if we go to the shade so you will see all the all the hang on why it's so dark um let's have a look so this is fine this is very dark uh, let's have a look so what's happening here so okay i think it's because yes i think that the lighting not only controls the the time but also controls the the um, darkness of this shadow so yeah I think looks like we have to go to each uh, view but let's ju uh, let's just do it <laughs> sorry about that um, yeah looks like we have to so just so because we we now have this template template applied to this view we know we are not able to do it here we no longer oh yeah oh we can still do this because this lighting light setting is unchecked in the template okay so that's good so maybe i'll just turn this to 20 yeah that's better so go back to this one go to light lighting 20 apply okay go here sound setting oh wrong one uh here lighting 20 20 apply okay so this one graphic lighting apply okay so now go to the shade so now you will see all different shadows so so this is winter 10 o'clock 10, 10 o'clock here so you can if you I think if you connect this line to this one, this one will always parallel to here. So, and then you pro you can probably tell which one's which. So this one, this line. So this shadow is uh, 3 p.m. Uh, equinox. Okay. So this is uh, 4 p.m. summer. So I think it's a good idea to you know even just do a text, um, so, uh, something like this so for example uh, i'll just do a text uh, for uh, summer summer 4 pm something like this and then you know which one's which okay and then just copy this one um, summer and uh, nine o'clock this one should be yeah, it's a little bit hard, but you can also just do do uh, use the um, do this maybe this one's oh looks like I think it's three uh, equinox three p.m. Okay, so yeah, that's um, that's it, and of course um, 
So this in, in this one, project north is top of the page, and we didn't change the uh, true north. But if you, you need to adjust the true north, the easiest way is work out the angle between true north and project north. So, and then you just need to just go select this. Uh, this is the project base point, just typing an angle. So for example, if it's 10 degree, and then you will see the true north become 10 degree from the north, uh, the top of page, and all the, the, the this, um, what's, the, what, what's this called? Sound path or will change accordingly. Control Z, Control Y, Control Z, Control Y. Okay, so that's it. And of course, you can change the location. So, for example, this one, this pro, this building. Uh, I think uh, let's move this building to different uh, locations. So you can just go manage and a location. So if we just do it, uh, pick a. Slope back here. Oh, let's place this there. Okay. Oh, hang on. What's uh? Project as you enter does not match. Uh, go back to search. So, yeah, I think we can just pick pick here. Can we? I'm not sure. Maybe we need to pick a city. Um, do we have a list? Oh, here. Yeah. Uh, close. So maybe we can pick a city. Okay, so let's just pick a random. Okay, I'll close my eyes. This one. Ports. I'm not sure where this one is, but let's click OK. So now you will see. Um, actually, the sound path is still the same, but the shadow change. It looks like this is north. Uh, so, so the uh, yeah, it's the other side of the, the planet. But what we need to do is we need to up, up, update this sound path. So what you can do is go to the view. So let's go here. So you just need to turn off the sound path and turn on the sound path. Now you will see change direction. Okay, go here, off, on. Go here, off, on, off, on, and off, on. So now if you go to this, that's it. Um, and also, uh, let me think. Yeah, maybe we should change the color of the roof. Maybe change the uh, change. So currently, I think it's a shade. So let's have a look. So if I go to uh, go to the template, uh, where is the shade model display? I think change it to hidden line. Apply, apply. Okay, okay. Yeah. So it will become white. And yeah, that's it. So I think this 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 uh will be good and you can even save save all these different uh different sound setting in your template so next time you can quite easily just use them and um, you can even even save some view in your template so next time you can just uh, create a sound oh, oh sorry a shadow diagram without doing all this thing uh, work. So uh, where's my shade? Yeah, yep. Yeah. So just uh, replace your building with your, your actual project and then that's it. Okay, so thank you for watching. And um, of course, if you find a better way to do it, so if you can do it without stacking five different view on it, you can do it in one view, please let me know, okay? Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.